Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. Now, if you are in that category of international applicants that are looking for a fully funded opportunity overseas to study your master, to study your PhD, I have a great news to share to you once again today. I know I've brought one earlier to South Korea that takes care of all the expenses, you know, even they even reimburse you your flight fee. I mean, all expenses to South Korea. I've brought one earlier, but this is another one. So if you have not seen that South Korea, quickly go and watch it. All expenses are taken care of. All pocket money, flight reimbursement, tuition waived, everything, graduate and BSc. But the opportunity that I want to talk about today is for only graduate research opportunity for masters and for PhD. And it covers all areas of research. So be it you are in the sciences, be it you are, you are in the management, social sciences, regardless of the area of research. The minute you apply for any graduate course, you are automatically considered for that scholarship. Okay, and apart from that scholarship, the school also have numerous scholarship that you can even be considered for. So, and this school that I'm talking about is the University of Melbourne, the University of Melbourne in Australia. So if you are a lover of, of Australia, you've been looking for an opportunity to relocate or jack back to Australia, this is a great uh, this is a great opportunity for you. And the beauty of it again is this. You uh, the IELTS that the uh, most of the courses because uh, uh, Australia is an English speaking country, which means all the courses that you are going to do, they are going to be taught in English. So they take very they take cognizance of uh, English as the uh, as the mode of instruction. So which means you must show proof that you understand English. And so, like I said, the beauty of it is that. They recognize Nigeria and some other, you know, uh, African country as an English speaking country. So all you need is to get an English proficiency certificate from your school. And that is all you need to apply. So once you have an English proficiency certificate that maybe for masters that shows that you are taught for two years and uh, you can use it to apply for PhD or for BSc going for master, you can use it to apply for master's program. So. They recognize Nigeria as an English, uh, English speaking, uh, English speaking country. So now another thing again is this: you have to make sure that you apply for a program before thirty first of April this year. So it also depends on the uh, timeline or the academic calendar that you are planning to apply for. Okay, so if, for instance, you are planning to resume by October, you have to make sure to apply before April of this year. But if you are planning to resume by February, I think the application deadline for those who are planning to resume by February of 2025, the application deadline is a little, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's still forward and I think it's around May. But I will be showing you this detail. So today, I want to show to you the detailed step, the document required to apply list of programs that you can apply for and the details about this scholarship every information that are essential for you to apply so if you're just seeing this channel this is japa with your days on this channel we discuss opportunities to portugal where we reside to austria and other beautiful european countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience a cheap relocation experience so stick to this channel if you're just seeing us for the first time like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop informations and opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notification almost every week almost every week we drop at least two to three opportunities to europe vocational opportunities study opportunity full tuition uh, uh scholarship opportunities to europe almost every week we drop opportunities like this so you cannot afford not to be informed when we drop opportunities like this so stick to this channel click on the subscribe button also turn on the bell so that by the time the i mean videos are dropped on this channel you will immediately be notified so stick with uh this video to the end let me show you the details about this scholarship how you need to apply and the deadline or, you know uh, some of the programs that I'm going to be sharing with you um, shortly 
So this is the graduate research scholarship application page. Now, uh, see what it says here. The Melbourne Research Scholarship and Research Training Program are offered to high achieving international and domestic students who are, who are enrolling in a graduate research degree at the University of Melbourne. So which means, regardless of the program that you apply for, for either master's or for PhD, the minute you apply, this, um, um, this scholarship is automatically, uh, you are automatically considered for this scholarship, okay? So, and this is what the application cover, application type, no application is required. You will automatically, you will automatically be considered for this scholarship the minute you apply for either master's program or PhD program at this university. Um, then another thing is the total value for the tuition fee, 100% tuition fee remission and up to $135,000 is covered on this scholarship. Now the benefit type, so they provide you a general allowance and the tuition fee uh, um, a waiver. So of course, if you want to read further about uh, the benefits of the scholarship, you can you know read further about the benefits of, of the scholarship here. Then application study areas, all study areas, so regardless of which area you want to do your master's or PhD in, all study area are covered on this graduate research scholarship. Now, who can apply citizenship of Australian or domestic student and international student? And apply regardless of which country you're applying for you can apply for any graduate research program at the university of melbourne and number of scholarship awarded each year approximately 600 scholarship are awarded to um to applicants uh, at the university of melbourne so let's quickly look at some of the eligibility and selection criteria now to be eligible for this scholarship you must have applied for and meet the requirement for a graduate research degree at the University of Melbourne. Be currently enrolled or be currently enrolled in a graduate research degree at the University of Melbourne. So either you have applied or you are currently enrolled at the University of Melbourne graduate research program. So that then, I mean, selection criteria or domestic student who offer admission to master or doctorate at the University of uh, Melbourne will receive a research trading program scholarship fee offset so that is for uh, all domestic students now graduate research scholarship that provide a stipend as well as fee offset are awarded to domestic and international students based on academic merit eligible applicant are scored and ranked according to their academic achievement of their last completed degree so uh, I, I mean, so for BSc, for BSc going for uh, MSc, so they will rank you based on the degree of your, uh, I mean, based on the quali qualifications of your BSc program. Then if you are going for a PhD, they will also rank you based on the value of your, uh, or based on your grade for your BSc and for your MSc. Those are some of the criteria, the things that they, that, that they put into consideration. Now, uh, then application process. If you are any student and have applied for a graduate research course by the application closing date for that course, you will automatically be considered for the graduate research scholarship. Now, uh, I don't think then, I mean, I don't think we, we need to deal well more on this. So, uh, the, yeah, I don't, I don't think there is more information. You can, of course, read all these details that I think there are most, some of the things that I've earlier uh, talked about. Now, when will I know the outcome of the scholarship? Domestic student will receive an offer for a research training, uh, training program scholarship as part of their course offer. However, offers for graduate research scholarship that provide a stipend and fee offset are made separately, but around the same time course offers are made. Now, variations of the award, they have different award for this scholarship. The University of Melbourne have different uh, scholarship. Now they have, Melbourne Research Scholarship, if you want to read more about each of them, you can at your own time read more about them. Uh, Melbourne Research Scholarship, they have Australian Government Research Training Program Scholarship, and they have China Scholarship Council, University of Melbourne PhD Scholarship. So they have different scholarship. So even if you are not considered for the graduate research scholarship, they also have all the scholarship that you can be considered for if you meet the um, uh, the 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 uh, the minimum requirement to be able to apply. 
Okay, now what are the benefits of this scholarship? Full fee offsets, okay, living allowance up to $37,000 per year, per year. So living allowance up to $37,000 per year. Now, and then uh, for up to two years for students undertaking a master's program and for up to three to five years, and for up to three to five years for students undertaking a doctoral degree, then there is also relocation grant meaning they will pay you a $2,000 $2, for student moving from state or territories other than Victoria or £3,000 for student moving from outside of Australia. So if you are moving from outside of Australia, from, you know, as an international applicant, if you are moving from any African countries or any other countries other than Australia, you will be paid $3,000 as a relocation grant a relocation support i mean which of course you can use to take care of your uh, flight fee and all of those fee uh, before you settle in into the university of melbourne so this is these are the details about the scholarship applications the benefit and all all other things i mean you can do extensive reading and research about some of the benefits that are you know embedded in each of these criteria here now Let's quickly check uh, graduates' courses. Now, this is an opportunity for you to filter. Now, based on the fact that the course has already stated that it cover only graduate research for masters and for PhD, you have to you know, filter based on graduate research opportunity that are here, okay? Then, if, depending on the department that you, you know, that you want to look into, business, humanities, social science, education, that is what, what we determine the duration of the, so if for, for master's, I think duration will be around one to two years, and for PhD, duration will be around three to four years. So, and then you can filter based on when you want to start the program. So, if you want to start in, if you want to start in um, 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 January or April, of, of next year, or if you want to start in May or August, I think they have different start uh, uh, enrollment time. So and um, this are, so you, you can filter based on what you are looking for. So let's say uh, let's pick one of the one of the uh, uh, course and say okay, let's look at the application timeline. For instance, masters of management. Okay, these are the uh, key application dates. For instance, see the key, key application date. Now, mid-year, July 2024 intake, application must be submitted by 31st of May 2024. And if you want to start by February 2025, application is due by 30th of November 2024. So you have up until 30th of November 2024 to apply if you are looking to resume by February 2025. But if you are looking to resume by um, um by july or by august of 2024 you must have submitted your application by 30th and did for this course they said you must have submitted your application by 31st of may okay so but at least each of the courses that have gone uh, that have gone through they have different deadline for submission of application so you have to check which course you want to go for and the deadline for submitting your application. But for Masters of Management, the deadline for submitting of application is 31st of May, 31st of May, 2024. So that is that about, and they also have some other, I mean, important information that you can go through. So let's quickly check, I mean, the, the, the major part of what I feel might, might, might not, uh, might, you know, want to, uh, in that you is the language graduate English language program. So let's see the English speaking background or education. So let's assume, uh, um, I mean, you want to check the language requirement, which is one of the essential documents that I've seen in this program. That you know you might feel ah oh I don't have the strength to go write IELTS or I don't have IELTS money or all of those things, TOEFL and the likes. Now let's see. So if within two years of your uh, master's program, you are taught in English, and if between two to five years of your either master's or, or, or BSc program, you are taught in English, you can provide English proficient certificate. Now, let's check the list of country that are considered uh, predominantly English speaking country. Now, see for instance, in here, predominantly English speaking country that do not require to take uh, IELTS, 
and uh, ILTS or TOEFL are Ethiopian, Ghana, Hong Kong, Israel, Kenya, Lesotho, Liberia, Malawi, Malta, Mauritius, Namibia, the Nauru, Nigeria. Nigeria is also part of the English. So another part of, um, you know, uh, and they also have English speaking countries, Antigua, Bahamas, you know, they have a, a bunch of them. So it now depends on, you know, your country. So that is what we determine whether your country is giving a waiver from writing IELTS or not. So, you know, as uh, I mean, if you're from Nigeria, if you're applying from Nigeria, just provide an English proficiency or any country of your, uh, any country you're watching from, just go to your school and apply for English proficiency certificate, a letter showing that you were taught in English throughout your BSc program, going, if you are going for master's or you were taught in both BSc uh, and master's program that you were taught in English for if you are going for a PhD program. So that is that about the uh, University of Melbourne and you know some of the courses. So you have to do extensive research. I expect that you do your extensive research about each of the courses that uh, you can be eligible for at the University of Melbourne. And like I said, the, it, it, and it, uh, Australia is an English speaking country. So you are expected to be able to show proficiency in English language. So that is the opportunity that I want to quickly bring our way. So uh, I mean, fortunately, this is only for uh, graduate uh, scholarship. I mean, those who already have either HND or already have BSc in their various country, those are the those are the ones that are that, that are considered or that can apply for this scholarship in Australia. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring information like this your way, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all our social media channels. Don't forget to share this information to somebody. This will really, really help somebody. It's really a pleasure to have um, brought this information. And we, of course, if you have any questions, you can you know, ask uh, your question, drop, uh, uh, drop your quest question on our comment session. We will do uh, well to try as much as possible to answer them accordingly. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye for now.